How you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm well, what's your name? Matt, Matt Franco. Matt, what are you gonna do for us today? I'm gonna be doing a uh, card trick, doing some magic. When I first saw magic, it was on TV. I was four years old. I immediately, you know, begged my parents to, to get me a magic set, and I brought it into kindergarten for show and tell the next week. That was my first audience. One, two, three. Stephanie, which hand? Don't look too hard, I cheated. I'm just kidding with you. My family altogether has always been really supportive. My grandma in particular, when I was little, she would just sit with me for hours watching me do tricks. I'd get halfway through and something would happen and it didn't work. And I would say, oh, I have to start all over again. And she just happily sat through that for hours and hours, for years and years and years. In fact, she still would do it today. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. <laughs> What's gonna separate you from all the others we've seen? Well, I'm doing something that you've never seen before on America's Got Talent. Or really? Anyway, I'm telling a story that I wrote about this show. At 25 years old, I'm still just as obsessed with magic as I was when I was four. I love it. I've never been in front of an audience like this before. I'm pretty nervous, but if I'm not ready now, I'm not sure if I ever will be. Ready, Matt? Let's do it. Go get him, man. Wow. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. Uh, what's your name and what are you going to be doing for us today? My name is Matt Franco and I'm going to do some magic. When did you start getting into magic? At what age? I started becoming fascinated with magic when I was four years old. Four? Yeah, I saw a magician on TV and I would record every magic show on the old VHS and I would uh, watch them over and over in slow motion to try to figure out how to do the tricks. That's how I learned. Wow. Wow, so you're self-taught? Yes. Well, I think we're excited to see it. Good luck and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Uh, I wrote a story just for you guys. It's a close-up trick. If you don't mind, I'm going to join you at the table. Yeah, okay. come on over. <laughs> now, please, keep in mind, what you're about to see is going to be done with a genuinely shuffled deck of cards. It's a story about season nine of America's Got Talent with Howard Stern, our king of media, America's sweetheart, Heidi Klum, Mel B, our queen of pop, and of course, our favorite, Joker. <laughs> Don't worry, Nick, I haven't forgotten about you. You really are a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Me, I'm 25 years old, and sad as it may sound, this whole magic thing has pretty much consumed my life all the time, like 24 seven. Since I was about four years old. See, people often ask, where do you see yourself in 10 years? But even just five years ago, I never guessed that I'd be here on season nine of America's Got Talent, hoping to hit the wow. jackpot in front of an amazing full house audience here at the Dolby Theater. I will never forget the address here, number 6801. Of course, I don't have a zero in a deck of cards, so sometimes I improvise. I never Whoa. thought I'd be here across from the great Howard Stern. Now, Howard, I gotta be honest. I know these cards. This king here doesn't really look like you. In fact, in my opinion, all of you judges look much better. One, two, in the flesh. <laughs> yup, even you, Howard. Oh, you oh all, my God. You all look great. You look great just to the nines, but don't get me wrong. I'm not just up here to be kissing your aces. Oh. Well, except for maybe you, Heidi. See, you do have undeniable six appeal we all know that but it's you mel b that i've always had the hots for you see you were part of the spice girls the only group in history to have four consecutive number one hits since the legendary jacks and five Yep. Using spray paint, I'm gonna predict something about one of you judges right now. As you know, I'd love to join you at the table. Would that be okay? Yeah. Howard, you can see that the cards are not only mixed up and shuffled, but more importantly, they're all different. Is that right? That is correct. Heidi, yes. I want you to choose one of these at random, simply by pushing your finger into the deck as I riffle through. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Any way you want. 
Right there, you sure? What? <laughs> Is that the one you want? Yes. Positive, you can change it if you like. No, I don't want to change it. Take it, take it, that'll be for you. Don't show it to me, but look at it yourself, and please remember it and show it to everyone at home. Where is everyone at home? <laughs> remember that card. See, back on stage, my prediction is already locked in. No peeking. My question is, Heidi. Yes. Do you have the two of diamonds? No, I don't. No. no. You don't have the two of diamonds no, right now. No, I don't. Now. So, I don't. Ho hold on a second. Uh, maybe I can fix this. Watch. Wow. Ten of spades, is that you? Is that right? But hold wow. on, my friends. See, here at Radio City Music Hall, there's really no room for mistakes. And my first guess was, the two of diamonds, and I thought maybe you would have that one, but hold on. See, Howie, you didn't even choose a card, is that right? Uh, yeah, no, yes, <laughs> I don't, I'm not part of this. But Howie, one card chose you. What are you talking about? This is gonna sound a little crazy. <laughs> it already does. Obviously, I couldn't have touched you. Please stand. No! Stand! Really? Howie, reach into your, your left back pocket right now. Tell us what you find. Hold it up. Oh, what do you do? The two of diamonds? The two of diamonds? Oh, no, I'm telling you. Wow. Thank you so wow. much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you. Thanks for Tonight, I'll start by having not just one, but three judges choose cards at random. Howard, starting with you. Go ahead and just slide out anyone there. There's a lot of pressure on me, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm not used to it. It's OK if I see the card. I've seen this trick before. Please right. show it to the judge's camera there. There it is. Great. And Heidi, if you yes. could please slide out anyone from the middle there. Perfect. And hold it up for the camera so everyone can see it. And last but not least, if you could, Howie, just go ahead and slide out one. Hey, you can get one. <laughs> Don't worry, Mel, I haven't forgotten about you. In the meantime, I'd like to take all of your cards. One, two, three. Mel, please hold up your hand right about here. And I'm going to have you hold all three cards right there. Do you have your phone on you? I always have my phone on me. If it's OK with you, I'd like to take a picture of you holding those three cards. Is that OK? Yeah. All right, all three of them right here. The six, four, and two. In fact, Mel B, if you could, just hold them up a little bit higher. We'll get one more picture just in case here, all right? Great. If you could just set the cards down. Now that we have photo proof of the cards, there's no way I can switch them. In. Oh my God. Oh, are you Mel. Are you freaking oh. kidding me? I'm sorry. It got a little bit wet. Um, see if you can uh, turn the phone on. See if you can fix it there. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I have a backup plan. Can you turn it on? No, I can't. It's not turning on. OK. Let me see if I can actually uh, fix. Mel B's phone. There's a two-step process. It's very simple, Mel. Step one is isolate the phone. Watch. Step two, Mel, is drying it off. Look. Oh. Great. <laughs> That's not a bad sign. Not only is your phone fixed, but it's actually, believe it or not, gone. <laughs> now, everyone's smiling and clapping except for Mel B. I'm so yeah. sorry. I'll tell you what, if your phone really is fixed, we should be able to hear it across America if we call it. Heidi, could you please call Mel's phone right now? Call it now. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Have you Everyone? Heard of my favorites? Or is that just there? Listen closely. We might even hear it. It's ringing. Do you hear that? Where is Mel, it? we need to find exactly where it is. Yeah, it's in the building. Do. Come with me, Mel. Come this way. This is this crazy? Come over here. It sounds like I hear it coming from this side of the room. Can you hear that? I, I don't know. I just need to find it. Uh, you, guys, you guys feel something in this section? You guys are pointing. You hear it? I hear it. Uh, sir, you have your hand raised, yes? Could you please stand? Uh, 
And all three of you, please stand actually, right here on the end, stand up and just make your way into the aisle. Could I have you three up as well? Sure. Step out this way. Uh, excuse me just a second. Mel, I want you to stand right here. Just sit here. Stand there, watch everything I do. This is about to get dangerous. <laughs> watch! Uh. Mel, I've cut open the seat here. I don't want to do anything. I want you to reach inside. Reach over the seat from there. Oh, yep, no, just reach the over. Seat. You got this. I felt something. Dig inside right here. Reach inside there. Oh, my God. See if you can find anything, Mel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. If... Thank you so much. But if this really is your phone, you'll see it's got the picture that we started with. No. Thousands of seats here at Radio City, but your phone was somehow inside this seat. How is that possible? Mel, look at the seat number. Six, four, two. No! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be back. Hi, Mel. Hi. Do you mind if I borrow your cell phone tonight? Uh, again? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna touch it this time. I have a small box, I'm gonna lay it right on the table there. Please put your phone on top of the box. Make sure I don't go near that phone. Yeah. Tonight, I wanna try something fun with our live audience, but also with everyone at home right now. You can see all the cards are different. In a moment, I'm gonna riffle the cards towards the camera, and I want you to try to see one card in the deck. Not this one, we can all see that one. Try to focus on one inside. It's gonna be fast, watch. Did you get one? Yes. I hope you did, remember it. I've developed a new way of shuffling cards. I call it the card cannon. I'll load them inside like this. Let me show you how it works. <sighs> The cards fly up, and if you look all the way up above us to the ceiling, you'll see one card up there. It looks like it might be the king yeah. of hearts. Yeah. Is that the card you saw? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. That was the card. But let's take things one step further and make it a little more personal. Howard, please slide out one card. All right, here we go. Doesn't matter if I see it. Please turn it over, face up. All right. Sign your name right across the face of it so it's the only one in the world that looks like that. You All can draw right. a picture, put your gang logo. Oh, oh okay. he's we'll doing be here it. All, all right. right. Go ahead. I'll take Howard's card so you can see it here. Yep. And I'm going to bury it about halfway down, give or take a few. I'm not counting, I'm guesstimating. That's about half. Howie, push it in. Now, when he does that, it really is gone from the top, Howie. But if I snap, it actually comes back. Oh, my God. You didn't know what to look for, so I'll show you again. Mel, I want you to do it this time. Lift up about half the deck, Mel, if you could. Oh, that's perfect. Put his in, put those on. Now, you snap. Check it out. No way. No! Oh, no. I'm glad you guys like that because that. sometimes there are septics, I mean skeptics, <laughs> who say, I don't really put it in the middle. Heidi, if I were to take Howard's card, I'll even leave it sticking out so you can actually see the name on there. Heidi, I want you to push it all the way into the fan so I can't even touch it. All the way in. Yep. All, now go ahead and snap, Heidi. Check it out. All the way up. Heidi, all Ready? the way, all the way up. I love that delayed reaction. Don't worry, everybody does it. You can't see the moment the card jumps up to the top of the deck. Right. And do you know why, Howard? Why? Because all the cards are face down. Can you find your card? Can I find it? There it is, there it correct? Is. Yes. This time, I want to mark your card. That way, I can't switch it on you, because you saw that time I switched it, right? This time, I'm going to bend your card. I'm not going to crease it at this point, but I'll give it a good bend so you can always follow that lump on there. Watch. I'll do it one last time. Right. You'll see it happen. Up. No, no. Look at no, that. No, wow. No, no. There it is. Thank you. But wait, my friends, we have to bring this all full circle. It started with Melby's cell phone in the beginning, and you can see the box is still there. What if I told you when you lift up the phone, the box would be gone? How cool would that be? 
would be Yeah. Good. Are you ready? I am. Do it. Lift up the phone. Lift it up. Yes. It's still there. That would have been good, though. Yes. <laughs> Take the phone away. That's been there the entire time, right in front of you. It doesn't get more close up than that. Inside, fold it up. Not once, but twice, there's a card. Heidi, could you hold out your hand for me? I don't want to touch it. Bring both hands it's, underneath. It's not Look. Laura's card, is it? Unfold is it? it. Is it? No. With your name on it! It is Howard. Show the camera. Thank you very much. Howard, according to all your fans, you're always right. Right. Mel B, you've shown some evidence that you might even have psychic powers. Yeah. Tonight, we put you both to the test. We have two decks of cards. The first is just an ordinary deck, but the other is the world's first human deck of cards. Well, kind of. Behind me, we have audience members. Each one is holding a random card. Even they don't know which card they're holding because the faces of the cards are covered. Mel B, please join me on stage to help me with the human deck. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. Mel B. Here I come. Come on over, Mel, and I'm gonna have you stand right over here. Face the audience. We're gonna start by shuffling both decks of cards, starting on stage. If you're on stage now, everyone please move around, audience members, move around and to shuffle yourselves until I say to stop. Back at the desk, Howard, we're gonna do a more traditional shuffle. Right. Judge Stern, make sure that what you see is what you get. Okay. Is that fair? What I see is what I get, yes. Everyone on stage, please stop and form a line right next to Mel B, all the way to the back. I'm gonna pull out one random red card and one random black card. Howard, please hold on to the deck. I'd like you to pull off just the top card. Don't look at it. I want you to use your intuition. If you feel that's a red card, place it here. If you think it's black, put it there. Confident, right away. Yes. Go, go ahead with the next one. Pull off the next one, think about it. Two in a row, you can make them into a pile, not a row, continue. You feel that? Oh, you switched it. You think that one's red? No, I think it's black. Oh, you're going to switch it again. Okay, and the next? That's red. That's red. Okay, continue on just like that. And Mel B, on stage, you're going to do the same thing. Use your intuition. If you feel the first card is red, direct it to the red side. If you okay. feel it's black, direct that person to the opposite side. Go ahead. Okay. Each one. Go yeah. over that. We'll make these into a oh. pile like this. Go over that. Very good, Mel. Use your that. intuition. Try to keep the pile somewhat even. Over there. Very, oh, you think this one's red? You sure? Uh, hold Let, on. you, Put what? it over here. Put it over. You sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah All right. Get, get on my nerves. <laughs> that one? You move, oh, he moved it back. Yes. Oh, good Ooh. move. It is red. I knew it. Congratulations. Right. Congratulations. All right, keep going. All right. Over there. Over there. All right, Howard, I'm going to stop you there. Mel B, I'm going to stop you there. We're going to switch things up to make it more difficult. We're going to switch the black and red. Now, continue, but put the black cards to this side and the red cards to this side. We'll switch the graphic on the screen as well. Mel, continue. Oof. Now, how do you think you're doing? I mean... I, I think I've got them all right so far. Really? I'm moving a little quick, but I think I have... That's this interesting. Is, this one here is red. I'm, oh, no, that's red. That's Oh, good, good. Okay. It's, it's interesting because... All right, and this one... You go with All right, that's it, black. That's my final decision. I gotta be honest. I mean, most people couldn't get even more than 10% right. I mean, if you got like 20 or even 25%, that might be considered psychic. What do you think, Howie, yeah? I think that would be amazing. Ah. Great. Great. Melby, as you finish up, come on back to your seat. How about a big round of applause for both of them? <laughs> Mel, I want you to be honest with me. How do you, well, how do you think Mel did? Mel probably got them all wrong, but I know I got them right. <laughs> yeah, Mel, what do you think? How do you think you did? Uh, I think Howard got it completely wrong, and I've got it completely right. Check it out. No sleight of hand whatsoever. I'm going to square the cards here. Go ahead. Check it out. On this side, we have all the black cards, all the red cards. Over here, on this side, you've separated just the opposite. All the black cards, all the red cards. Can oh you see that? Oh, my God. How did you do that? I but, did that. Yeah. But hold on a second. There's one that you got off in the oh. middle there. I don't know if you can see that. Three, Three of clubs, clubs is yeah. off, but that's okay. I think it's still amazing. He did off. a pretty awesome wow. job. One off. How did you do, that? do I win the million dollars? Hold on, Mel. Let's see who, how you did. Let's go on this side. Please reveal all of your cards. In the back row, hold them up nice and high. 
All red cards in the back row, all black cards in the front row separated perfectly. But here's the moment where this goes from a crazy coincidence to real magic. Everyone on this side, please reveal your cards. You'll see one card in the red pile Still out of place. Oh. Also, the three of clubs. Hi there. Thank you. Howard, thank you so much for helping me out. But tonight, we're also going to bring out another special guest, as you heard. She's an Emmy Award winning actress, a comedian, a host, and perhaps even your next wife. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rosie O'Donnell. Thank you so much. Hi. I'm so excited. Right Thank you so much, Rosie. Together, we're all going to play a little bit of a game. I have 20 cards for you. Take them. I want you to count 10 cards into my hand, one at a time, face down into a neat pile. Here in New York at Radio City, they're all your friends. They'll count with you nice and loud, pretend you're at a party. Here we go. One. Oh, that's two, good. Two, yeah. three, Don't four, up. five, five six. six. Seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. There, should, there should be ten left. Take the whole pile and pass it off to Howard. There you go, Howard. Should Just hold them in right. your hands for now, Howard. Okay. About Rosie, hide those on you someplace where I can't touch them without you feeling it. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Howard, there should be ten left. Count them out right here. Give them some help. One. Yes. Two. If you don't know the words, three, you can hum. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. A small round of applause. Didn't they do a good job? This is great work. Howard, same thing. If you could just take those cards. If you have like a pocket or something and you could hide those on you someplace where I would not be able to touch them without... <laughs> you won't get them in here. <gasps> Only Heidi can get them in. Wow. <laughs> There's no chance I'm getting them in there. <laughs> Rosie has no interest. No interest. Ladies right. and gentlemen, only the great Howard Stern. Very nice. You guys are laughing now. You don't even know what's about to happen. Mel B, I'm going to shuffle through the cards. Just shout stop whenever you like. Stop. Right there? Yes. Looks like you got a three. Does that work for you? Yeah, that does. Mel B chooses the number three. That means I need to make not one, not two, but three cards vanish. Hi. Hi. <laughs> from here. Wow. Hi. Hi. And go. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> you know, a lot of times people try to tell me this magic isn't real. Well, I can promise you tonight it will not be done manually. <laughs> I will make the cards travel one at a time very slowly for your entertainment pleasure. Okay. You won't actually feel anything as oh, this happens. I, I apologize. Okay. Howard, right. get ready to receive. No, no, stop it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. That's one. This one's like a fastball. It might hurt. Did you feel that? I did. He's I more did. full of it than I am. That's awesome. For the third one, it's easy. We'll get to be invisible. It's going to go up high into the air. Howard, when it comes down, I want you to catch it and <laughs> throw it in. All right, you ready? Here we go. Go ahead. I dropped it. No, you dropped it. Yeah, there it is. Very nice. But. All this only makes sense if it works. Rosie, please take out your cards. Obviously, I couldn't have touched them. You no. put them inside there. Put them inside. Count them out right here. Give her some help, everybody, all the way through. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven. seven. Come on, that's it? There's nothing three else in going. there. You chose the number three. That can only mean one thing. Howard, take out your cards. Oh, jeez. All right, let's not look here. Let's be nice. <laughs> Rosie, you take them out. <laughs> Do you need help, honey? That is... I'm here for you. Oh, jeez. Beth won't mind. Come on in there. Get in there. There you go. All right, all right. Okay. That Thank is you. disgusting. She seems eager. Count them out right here. I'm not doing it. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, eight, nine 10, 11, 12, 13! How'd that happen? Come on! Get over here! 
Congo. 